All right, greetings. Welcome to another installment of Pinball Help. What I have here is a video DMD driver board, in this case from a Star Trek The Next Generation. What was happening was, uh, I don't know if it's all related, but I, when I was playing the game, the DMD would make this kind of pingy, annoying buzzing noise. And uh, I just, you know, didn't know what I could do about it. And then eventually the display just went completely dead. So, the solution to that is to rebuild this lower section of the board. This is the high voltage section. And like most electronic components, uh, heat is really bad for these things. And, th and this section down here generates a lot of heat with the trans transistors and um, the resistors and all of that. And of course, once again, we've got capacitors here, electrolytic capacitors, which have kind of a liquid medium in them, and over time, they will dry up and lose their effectiveness. So, our solution to fixing the DMD display, which went completely dead, is to rebuild this section of the board. Now, one of the neat things is you can actually get a kit for all the components. I mean, you could, uh, you could take notes of all the little component numbers, and probably some of these things are more reliable than others. Uh, but I can look at this board and I can see there's clearly heat damage on the board. You know, it's, it's become a little bit discolored down here. I don't know if you can see this, this capacitor here is actually kind of dark. So there's some crispiness down here. We're going to rebuild all this and hopefully make it a, a much better board. So, I've ordered this kit from Great Plains Electronics. comes in, and uh, you get all the little components. Here's the resistors. And then in here we've got diodes and transistors. And uh, there's also the electrolytic capacitors. So, my project for today is to rebuild this section with all new components and hopefully bring the board back to life. Um, I also thought I might go over some of the tools that I'm using. Uh, obviously I've got my little trusty lamp here which is on a little base and yeah, I use that. And I like to kind of set up wherever it's going to be comfortable. I don't really have a dedicated workshop right now so I just uh, set up on the coffee table in front of the TV. I like to multitask. So, um, tools. First off, everybody needs a good soldering iron. I'm a big fan of this Weller. Mine's got a digital display, so I can set the temperature pretty accurately. And uh, I like it. I'm very pleased with it. For a little cleaning sponge, I've taken one of these Scotch-Brite pads and um, wet it and I use that down here and I find that to work really nicely well for cleaning the tip of the soldering iron so you know, it's important to keep the tip nice and clean. So that's my soldering iron and for removing the components from the board and yeah you can see right there look at that I mean there's some heat there that's been subjected to some heat so we're going to be working on all that section down here now how we remove the components is you use, best thing to do is to use a desoldering gun. And I found the most economical one is this guy right here. Let me flip that around. It's the Heiko 808. You can get this on Amazon.com, it's probably the best price there. And uh, it works really, really well. I'm very pleased with it. So that's what I'm going to be using. And of course, I'm going to probably methodically work on one section here at a time. Not take all the components off and then put them back on. I'm going to kind of work them. And of course, another good thing to do is to take pictures. As you're going along, snap some close-up pictures of everything before. So if while you're working on it, you suddenly forget where something goes, 
you can refer back to the pictures. So before I even do anything, I'm going to snap pictures of the front and the back close up so that I can see exactly where everything goes just in case I, um, I run into any pro problems or there's any kind of confusion. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's take it from there.